fashionistas and fashionistas out there. It's your plus size fashionista, LaSandra Yvette. And this is going to be a what's been going on with La La video. So if you guys will stick around, stay tuned. You know what to do. <music> to be a what's been going on with la la video i know y'all want to know what's been going on with me i know y'all like girl where's the videos what's been going on like yeah we know you at work yeah we know you finna go back to school but what, what's been going on we need the tea okay sis okay sis okay we're gonna talk about my job as you guys know i work in a hospital i am a cna slash what they call a patient care tech um, I love it. I've been there since um, September 11th of 2023. So this September 11th will be a whole year. And I will say overall, I do love the job. I mean, if you've been a CNA as long as I have or have a, a lot of experience working at other facilities, then it won't be hard to adjust and, you know, get the grasp of hospital culture. I will say this, working at a hospital is totally, totally different. I've worked in rehabs, I work in assistant livings, I work with different, dealing with disabled adults, uh, behavioral uh, adults, um, home health. I mean, only thing I haven't done uh, before I started working in a hospital, was working in a hospital, which I was trying to for so long, but never had the opportunity or a chance to, and uh, working in hospice. Um, I would, but, you know, getting attached to people and them dying, because that's what hospice is, I, my heart couldn't bear that. So I think I won't. But the hospital has been lovely. I work in the telemetry unit, which is, you know, Heart, you put heart monitors on people. A lot of people that, uh, a lot of patients I deal with uh, have surgeries. They have knee surgeries. Um, what else they have? Um, gallbladder surgeries, for the most part. A lot of people that have surgeries, like surgery on their knee. Um, I've had uh, patients that have been homeless. Um, you know, um, that can't really take patients that can't take care of themselves, patients that have dementia, you know, I've just dealt with a lot of things in my grasp, people that young people with drug addictions. I mean, it's, it's, you come across a lot of things and it's not a culture shock to me because I've dealt with it before, but it hits home when you see a lot of younger people, like young people like around my son's age or around his age group and people that's in my age group or a little older that have STDs such as AIDS. Um, it just breaks my heart. So I will say to be in the medical field as a whole, you have to be compassionate. You have to love what you do. If you do not love what you do, this is not the fucking field for you. I'm just going to be honest because I come in contact with so many fucking selfish people that come in this field because they see you can get a bag with working in a makeup, um, makeup field, in a uh, hospital, uh, 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 medical field. Um, you can get money quickly. You don't have the heart for it. You're not compassionate. You don't love what you do. You don't love caring for people. It's not sincere. You don't have the sincerity. Don't do it. It's just simple. Don't do it. I'm not going to do something I don't like. So why would you do something you don't like? Um, you have to have a heart. Um, this job is not for the weak at heart. I'm going to tell you. This job is not for the faint at heart. Um, at times, you're going to have good days. You're going to have bad days. But overall, you have to keep in mind the bigger picture of why you're doing this. You're doing this because you care. You're doing this because you want to be an impact in somebody's life. Uh, you, you, you're caring for somebody. You want to be a difference. 
You want to make an impact. I make so I meet so many people on a daily basis at my job. I work 12 hour shifts. So uh, it's crazy. Um, I, I come in contact with mothers, fathers, grandfathers, great, 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 great grandfathers, um, sisters, mothers, um, people that are nurses, people that are not, people are drug addicts, uh, reform drug addicts. I mean, all walks of life. I don't treat nobody differently. We all believe the same. I, we all put our pants on one leg at a time. I don't treat nobody differently. Um, when I come in a room dealing with patients, I'm very bubbly. I'm silly. I'm cracking jokes. I want to see a smile on your face. Despite you might be in pain, you might be sad, you might be hurting. But I just want you to smile. I want you to be happy. I don't want you to be sad. I come across a lot of people that dealing with cancer and stuff, and they tell me they want to die. And I tell them, honey, stay and hold on as long as you can. Only person that can decide that is Jesus. When he's ready for you to go, then he'll make that final decision. But until then, keep living life, smile, be happy, and, and, and spread love to everybody. I tell everybody, I don't care if I know you're not or I don't. I tell everybody I love them because you never know when it's going to be the last time you may hear, may speak to someone. I'm dealing with experience. My parents died. So... You never know when it's your time to go. And I see so many young people my age are going now. And it's crazy to me. So I say this to say, if you're not in it to impact someone's life, to help, to love, spread love, be a difference, really want to be in this career because you actually love it, then it's not for you. I'm in this career because I actually love it. That's why I'm going to be a nurse. I'm going to school to be a nurse. Matter of fact, piggybacking off that, I'm starting school August 14th, you guys, for LPN school. So I am so happy. I'm ready for this ride. You guys know I told you guys about, you know, doing my prereqs and the journey of that. And it was so difficult, but I held on. I stayed strong. I remain prayed up. I remain just hopeful putting one foot forward doing good studying keeping good grades as best as i can meanwhile working a full-time job being a mother taking care of household all that so i'm saying all that if i can do it y'all you can do it just do it don't let nobody stop you because i've had so many people try to stop me i don't care do whatever in your power to go to school don't stop. Do not stop, you guys. Don't. Just don't. Don't. Don't stop. I'm going to keep going. When I get my LPN, I'm going to get my RN. I'm not stopping. I'm going to get my BSN. I'm not going to stop till I get my BSN. So, yes. So, I'm excited about that. I'm in the process of, you know, getting finishing up getting things for school for me. Um, I'm start. I've been in the process of starting to get stuff for CJ for school. You know, y'all nephew finna be a senior in high school. Girl, I know. I'm getting old. I remember when I first started YouTube, CJ was, I believe he was one. I think CJ was like one when I first started YouTube, I think. One or two. Don't get me to lying. I believe CJ was like two or three when I first started YouTube. And CJ is going to be 18 next year, y'all. Yes, y'all nephew is going to be 18. So, yes, he is thriving. He has a job. I'm so proud of my son. Right now, we're trying to work on um, getting his license and work on getting him a car. You know, I'm a single mother, so everything falling on me. So, we're in the process of doing that as of now. So, but I'm so proud of him. Um, What else? I know y'all like love life. Girl, love life been crazy. Remember I had told y'all 
that I was dating somebody. We had broke up. Girl, he was a crazy hot ass mess. Crazy. I'll never date another Pisces. Like, Pisces men, I've dated two. They're crazy. Like, I can't. Like, the Pisces women, I love the Pisces women. But the Pisces men, I don't know what it is. But the two I dated, they've been schizophrenic crazy. Uh, um, bipolar. Weird as fuck. Like, no, I would never. And I'm a Capricorn. And I'm the most chillest person on earth. But I will never deal with a, a person trying to control me, control what I can and can't do. I'm grown. I pay all my bills. I run the ship around here. So, no. I don't mind me dealing with a man and he contributing to my household. Then I listen to what you're saying. But if you're not contributing over here, you can't tell me shit. Especially when I'm working for a full-time job. I'm going to school. Basically, you might as well, because my school is accelerating my nursing program. But this semester, I'm going three days out the week. I got to have five classes. Two on Monday, two on Tuesday, and one on Wednesday. Still got to pay bills, maintain the household. Make sure my son is good, be a mother. Make sure he's good. On top of that, like, I have my own personal issues and things I have going on. Like, no, no, no. Uh, I'm not having that. So, yeah. Um, dating? has been crazy um i've been back out there dating um i was dating the individual i met him at the club he's an older man he was real like he was chill we went on a date cool but then talking about sex and all that i i don't like that this is my thing and we grown here i'm not gonna be too vulgar but we grown here us women know if we're going to bust it open. We we know if we going if we already have it in our mind if we're gonna have sex with you. Especially if you are type, we we vibing, the chemistry there, like we already know what's up. You gonna get it. But just be patient. That's the thing with y'all men. Y'all not patient. Y'all wanna rush the process. Trust me, if the vibe is right, the time is right, let it happen naturally. It's going to happen. But for me and what I don't like, you trying to reel me in, going on dates and doing shit, and then you want to show your true colors and start to ask for some coochie. No, that's going to get you X'd out of here real quick, block, ban, and delete it. I don't play them games at all. Because, again, we grown. I know we grown. That happens. Sex happens. Things happen. I get that. But in my mind, if you talking out that early from the gate, that's all you want. I'm cool with it because we're grown. We know that's going to happen. But let it happen naturally. So, had to X him out. So, I'm dating someone. I just met him. So, I'm getting to know him. Um, Y'all. <laughs> I really don't want to say the story on here because I said the story on uh, my snap and a lot of my Fashion these and dials follow me on my uh, Snapchat, but I'm just gonna give y'all the quick little rundown. Okay, so my new friend, um, I met him at work. He was a patient of mine. <laughs> I was doing his vitals, and um, <laughs> and um, you know, didn't think anything of it because when I'm at work, totally business. Totally professional, totally respectful. Still bubbly, still me, but I don't do that at work. This man messaged me. He found me on Facebook, y'all. I was like, you're very beautiful. I was like, do I know this person? Then I put two and two together. I'm like, this is my patient. And room, I'm just throwing the room out there. 220. What? So I talked to my coworker. That turn friend. Hey, Sierra. That's my boo. Um, I told her, and she was like, girl, what you gonna do? I was like, friend, I don't know because I don't want to get in trouble. Because I know that's a line you shouldn't cross. But I didn't initiate it. So needless to say, he he's not in the hospital for no drugs or anything. He 
he he ain't on that. He had a operation. What I don't want to say because I this is violating HIPAA and I'm not gonna say all that. Anywho, he had a surgery, um, and he was in and out or whatever. And he wanted to bring me flowers and food to work. He did. And we exchanged numbers and we've been talking ever since. And I've been, you know, keeping in contact, making sure he's okay, making sure he's been getting rest, keeping fluids in like water, making sure he's okay, checking on him. And I'm digging him so far. I'm not putting two on 20. I'm just letting things play out. Whatever happens, happens. But I definitely did camp. And yes, he is an older man. He is 50. Y'all should know. I love older men. I'm 36. So I, I don't want to date nobody my age at all. Like my last real relationship, he just turned 40. And um, yeah, I don't I don't mess with nobody my age at all. You gotta be 40s and up for me to mess with you. That, that's just what it is. Um, I'm trying to see what else I should tell you guys. Oh, I did tell y'all I had gotten an accident, but I got a new car. Love it. I'm in the process of fixing it how I want to. Y'all know I'm girly. I'm, I love pink, so I've been in the process of getting little girly things to fix it up. Um, What else? Oh, I got new tattoos. <laughs> y'all know I'm, I'm inked up. My ex, Dre, did that. My girl, Keela Renee, did this. I want her to finish my back. I want her to do my whole back. Um, I want her to... That's the next uh, tattoo I want her to do. I want her to finish my back for me. Um, and then do... Finish my side. Connect this on up. I want something right up here to tie everything in. Um, because, yeah, you guys, I, I have a lot of things coming up. So, yeah, I just know a lot of things coming up for me after school. I have planned some things, and I am going on some trips to do those things that I want to do. So, yeah, you guys, that's it. I love y'all. I thank y'all for supporting me through all the years. Y'all just been so patient and rocking with me. I just want to tell y'all, thank y'all so much. I love the support. <laughs> when I post, when I don't post, when I'm on Facebook, when I'm on Instagram, when I'm on TikTok, when I'm on, uh, what is it, Snap, y'all show me so much love. It's not even funny, and I love y'all so much. Um, I just want to do this little update to let y'all know I'm good. I'm still here, you know. I just been focusing on that bag and in school. Other than that, I love you guys. Click the notification bell to be a part of the Honey Army. And so y'all be in to know all new videos I have coming soon, y'all. So until next time, y'all know what I want y'all to do. It's your dog, Sandra Yvette. I'm out. Bye.